cheaters finally get karma. Yeah, keep looking like that. Mm -hmm. Keep looking away. What is going on, guys? In this video, we get to check out more cheaters getting exactly what they deserve and get a hit of karma like they should. You guys are loving me going over these cheating episodes, and to be honest, I love seeing them as well. Who doesn't love cheaters getting caught? I think it's actually hilarious. But before we do jump into the video, today's shout out goes to Robin Michael, who says bootlicker unsubbing. And I said, wow, I have no idea what bootlicker is, guys. Anybody want to tell me what that means? Also, leave a comment. You guys may be in the next video. Shout out. But anyways, let's jump into this first clip, which is actually wild. It was all over TikTok. I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen it. If you guys are on TikTok, basically, this girl caught her guy cheating. And they live together, by the way. I think he has a bag of clothes with him. I'm not really sure. She definitely kicked him out. I'm not sure who owns the house. But basically, he does not see the reason or the big deal in cheating. He does admit it, though. He's like, okay, fine. You caught me cheating. I admit it. But I don't see the big deal in it. There's nothing wrong with it like what i can't believe this guy has such a nonchalant attitude about it and then the best part was where he starts saying i'm not gonna let you sleep with anybody else though so like, he's basically stopping this woman from doing anything else with any other guys he's not letting her break up with him he's basically taking full control and starts walking up to her and i think it's just pathetic how he can cheat but she can't do anything else you need to leave owen you need to leave i'm not leaving rachel I don't give a damn what you're trying to say. I'm, I'm staying in this house. No, you ain't. Yes, I am. I'm staying in this house. I cheated on you. That shit ain't a big deal. It's time to get over that shit. Not a big deal? Wow. Yeah, it's not a big deal. And wow. You're not, I'm not going to let you get with nobody else either. Like, shit get ain't away that from shit, me, that, Owen. That shit ain't happening. You ain't get away from else. me. You ain't get with nobody else. Oh, okay. Okay, here. okay. You need to leave. No. Leave, leave. Move. This next clip, I don't know if it's real or fake, but I was, it was so amusing. I'm sorry, her face is hilarious. Basically, they're having a breakup or divorce video going on. I'm not sure why people would do this or record this, but they decided to do it. And basically, they were saying, okay, guys, we're getting divorced. And the guy decides to say, yeah, it was mutual. When in reality, he actually slept with her sister. Like, this woman is kind of cute, but I guess her sister was just a bit better. The entire time, he's trying to act like it was mad mutual, like the, there was the, an agreement on both terms. But the last thing she says at the end of this clip made me die of laughter. Just please watch. Hello, everyone. It pains us to make this video, but Elon and I have to announce that we are getting a divorce. It wasn't anybody's fault. It just happened. You cheated on me with my little sister. What do you mean it was no one's fault? As I said, it wasn't anyone's fault. It was totally mutual. Anyways, I hope that you guys can respect our privacy during these hard times. Our daughter Richard will be living with me full time, obviously. It's for the best. It's not for the best. I hate you. Now this next clip really hurt the most. I guess this girl was gone for a bit. I'm not sure where she was. I think in the clip they said he picked her up from the airport. What she decides to do though, she opens a glove department and she sees, I think, a piece of hair or a weave that belonged to clearly someone else because it didn't belong to this girl. The man was absolutely speechless, guys. He had no excuse. I mean, he probably could have said something else. Like, yo, it was my cousin. Like, my mother's. Anything. But clearly, I guess, since it had, like, a bunch of ponytails and stuff on it, it didn't look like it belonged to any of them. And he was just speechless and couldn't think of anything. Like, imagine you opening the glove department of, of a car and just seeing a piece of hair there. Like, that's so weird. Okay, girls. You move across country for your man. And you get back from the airport. You go in his car and you look for an extra mask. And you see this. What are you doing, ladies? Tell me. He says, oh, maybe my dad cross-dresses. Oh, I don't know what it is, yada, yada. Also, why did it get taken off? Like, what was the reason the other girl had to take her weave off and just put it in the car? Like, I find that so weird, too. Like, what the hell? Usually, girls don't do that kind of thing. What would you do, huh? Yeah, keep looking like that. Mm-hmm, keep looking away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This next clip, this man is an absolute savage. I wish I could dab him up for just doing this. Basically, he said he was going in the shower. When in reality, he was actually hiding behind where this girl was texting this other guy. I'm not sure how she didn't notice him. I'm not sure about it. But this man literally caught her red-handed texting somebody else some really, really bad stuff. I, it's really blurry, so I couldn't even pick out what it said, but you guys can kind of read some stuff. But this man got her red-handed, and she was absolutely speechless. You guys should see this reaction. Definitely the top one on this list. I am so happy he did this. What a genius. And I, like I said, I wish I could dab him up just for doing this. Who the fuck is that? Who's that? Yeah, you thought I was in the shower? Give me, give me, see your, let me see your phone. Let me see your phone then. Because I, I just caught you cheating. Let me see your phone. Let me see your phone. Who's that? Wow. Stephanie. 
I can't wait to see you. Wait, nobody texts their friend like that. Wow, get the f out of my house, dude. Get out. Get out of my. This next clip is hilarious because that's to do with a group of four girls in a car, and I guess when a bunch of girls get together, it's the perfect opportunity to expose that one fake friend in that friend group. This girl took absolute advantage of it and made it seem like they were making a huge TikTok all together. When one of the questions is, "Put your finger down if you guys ever kiss my boyfriend." Yo, this girl tried making up excuses. She tried adding the TikTok. When in reality, the entire point of the TikTok was to expose this girl cheating. People are getting more and more creative ways of exposing these fake friends and I absolutely love it. It makes me laugh and actually gives us a content to react to. Um, never have I ever had a one night stand. Never have I ever kissed my boyfriend. Put your finger down then. Huh? Put your finger down. What are you on about? Because you kissed my boyfriend. Huh? I had to say something. Are you serious? I'm so sorry. Are you so I'm what the fuck? Did you kiss my boyfriend then? I'm so sorry. You literally kissed my boyfriend. He was coming on to me. I give a you kissed my fucking boyfriend. Tell the fucking camera. I don't give a f you shouldn't. Now, this next clip is literally the exact opposite of the last clip, except kind of similar, where it's just a bunch of guys this time. Except this is way worse than just a simple kiss. I don't know. This one seems really, really legit to me. A lot of the times are fake, but this one, usually a lot of these are fake. But when you guys hear this man's voice crack, yo, I literally felt it in his chest that he knew he effed up and there's no way of getting out of this. He just made complete eye contact with him. And I, I feel so bad kind of for putting him in that position. But then again, I really don't. You shouldn't cheat. And I really am curious about about the girlfriend's reaction i wish she caught hers too because i feel like that would have been way juicier than just aiming at your friend maybe just getting them both in the car next time that's a way brighter idea in my opinion if you want some good entertainment on tiktok but please watch this clip like i said i kind of feel bad for him because his voice just cracked and you know he's effed up but then again i don't because cheaters get exactly what they deserve there's the law sure sure we're in patient's car right now i have a hat on and andrew didn't my girlfriend. My girlfriend. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Why would you even say that? Dude, I'm not dumb, I know. Pierce, did you tell him? I had to, man. Duh. Dude, I... Dude, there's no point in lying about it. And this last clip, it is definitely fake, but I'm just gonna add it in because if it is real, this sucks a lot. Basically, it was New Year's and this guy's trying to kiss his girlfriend for the first kiss of the year, and she just looks at him with disgust and kisses the guy right next to her. Now, the thing is, this is totally fake because I would have probably pushed the dude away, but he didn't do anything and he just screamed a lot, which is not real. Nine, Happy New Year's! Eight, But that does it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching like i said please leave a comment and i'll make sure to put that in the next week shout out or next video shout out it doesn't really matter it can literally be anything even a roast like i don't even care if you guys roast me on this just comment anything and i'd love to see it but i will see you guys in the next one take care peace